welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that women either tend to hide, are embarrassed about it, or just ashamed that they even bring it up to light or bring it up at all. And that's hair loss. I started dealing with hair loss the last year, well, my senior year in high school going into college. When I was younger, I used to get my hair braided, get my hair in twisties, cornrows, anything you could ever imagine, I done to my hair. All those hairstyles that I had, literally my hair was pulled back extremely tight. That was not good for my scalp at all. And now that I'm older, after having Mason, I started realizing that I was losing a lot of my hair, especially in front right here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to be putting a before picture so you guys can see how bad it was, a couple of them, so you guys can see um, how bad my hairline was. And now, this is like what it's looking at now. My hair is going so fast on this side. This side takes a little bit longer. But like up here, that's where I've been having a lot of issues. Like this, it's growing in slowly but surely. I could tell that it's growing in because I'm starting to get baby hairs right here. And uh, I never had that. This is a product that I've been using that it's Ro Women's Rogaine. I've been using this for almost a year now. And in the beginning, I was like iffy about using it until I started doing my research on it. And a lot of people actually recommend to use that. And it actually worked for me. It comes with four months supply, which are two little bottles like this, and it's mousse. So you have to wash your hands with cold water, pour the mousse into this little cap, apply it to the areas that you need um, hair growth to happen, and um, you have to do that once a day. Uh, and after you put it, you apply it in, leave it in for four hours, and then take a shower and wash it out. And I was doing that for four months. Six months later, I started seeing results. And now, this is how it looks now. Before I started using it, I had nothing here. I had a huge like, bald spot here. Now it's like slowly coming in. Yeah, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take a lot of time. It's not gonna happen overnight. Just be consistent and keep using it, and you will see results at the end. You will love the results. Oh, but. At first, yeah, I was iffy about it. I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. I did try the generic brand first. And it looks like this. It comes in like three little bottles. And this is not boost. This is like the little, um, it comes with a dropper. So you basically just like use it a little bit and like just drop it into your scalp and just like massage it in. But this didn't help. It did not help me at all. I used it for a couple of months and I didn't see any results at all but when i started using this i still result maybe within like the fifth month using it and you have to be consistent in order for it to work and i love the results and i'm still not done because i'm still gonna keep doing it using it for it to grow in more as you can tell this side's worse than this side this side's actually growing in but this side's like slowly slowly coming in but it's still it's still working. It's doing its job. I, I understand it's embarrassing to talk about. Um, a lot of girls go through it, but don't really bring it up at all because they're embarrassed. And I understand because I'm embarrassed too. And it took for, a lot for me to even share these pictures with you guys. But as long as it helps anyone out there and makes a difference in their lives, it's worth it. It's worth me getting embarrassed. I don't mind. Um, I want to be as raw, honest, and straight up with you guys as possible on this channel. And hopefully I'm doing that by showing you raw, uncut images of how my hair used to look before actually using this product. Um, like I said, I highly recommend it. Just before using it, make sure you read the ingredients, the directions, and the warnings before using it. Just to make sure it's okay for you guys to use. But for the most part... Okay. I love it. Yeah, it, it's not pricey. It's like around 40 something dollars compared to the generic brand was only $18. I I would say pay the extra money and just get the actual name brand. It's worth it. 
Um, but yeah, I know this video was a little bit short, but I just wanted to share you, share with you guys one of my favorite products that I've been using, and hopefully it helps you out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.